Alrighty everybody, welcome back. It's Fortify115 here today, and I'm going to show you a tutorial here today on the Steam Workshop. Now, this here is something I actually had to look up because me and a bunch of the guys I game with have started playing a lot more Space Engineers, and we have been doing mod packs. Well, we wanted to just make it to where it was easy for other guys to go get the mod pack so they could get used to it in single player or whatever. So, I actually looked up how to do this. Uh, and the original code is actually from Reddit. It is from the City Skylines Reddit. And it is by a guy by the name of... Where is it here? It is by you slash Cluvo2. He is the one who's posted this code. It's the oldest one I've seen for it. It's written script in JavaScript. So I'm going to show you how to use that today in order to go ahead and easily make a collection for your game. And you can find that script down in the link below. It'll uh, take you to his page, and I'll also include the JavaScript file itself as a downloadable from GitHub. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to come to your workshop. I'm in the community right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Space Engineers, because I'm going to make a another collection for it, just to demonstrate. Workshop. Obviously, we'll come here to Collections and create a collection. All right. Now, we're going to give it a title, so we're going to say Demonstration for Tutorial. All right. Don't want to click enter. Uh, files. We have to give it a branding image, so I think we will just come here and find some sort of image, random image here. Um, how about we do this? We'll just come here and we will put my development community's logo on it to make it easier. And we're just going to put. This is for a tutorial only. Alright. Items that work together, we're going to want to do that because that'll give them the show subscribe to all button. We're going to click save and continue. Now, once you're on this page here, you're going to come over here to subscribe to items and you're going to see normally you would have to go add these manually and that kind of fucking sucks. So I'm going to just come click remove from collection. So what you're going to do now is you're going to hold control shift and you're going to press I and that's going to open up your inspect here. And then we're going to open up the console. And then it's as easy as a drag and drop. All you're going to do is you're going to take that JavaScript file. i got to go pull it up here. But nevertheless, you're going to take that JavaScript file and you're just going to drag and drop it right there. And that's going to punch in the entire line of code that you need here. And then you're just going to click Enter. Now you'll see that two buttons have popped up here. We have a plus button and we have a minus button. So what we're going to do is we're just going to click the plus button and click on anything. And that's going to add everything to it. Now. Say you didn't want to add everything to it, same thing, you just come back here with the drag and drop, press enter, and you have the minus button. That button is going to remove everything, just like that. Click the plus button again, and we can just go back and add it all back. So after you've done that, obviously, you're just going to click save and continue. You can choose your files, whatever, but now you can see that all of the mods you're going to be using are in there. And this here is mainly just because I'm lazy with this. This is 52 mods. Obviously, 52 mods is a really fucking easy thing to put in. But whenever you get up into, you know, the hundreds and hundreds of mods, uh, you know, say 900 mods or so, nearing that thousand cap, that's whenever this is going to become really useful to you. Uh, Gary's Mod especially is a really big game with it. Uh, Left 4 Dead, people mod the fuck out of it too, so... It makes it very easy to just make a collection for all of your buddies there like that. Uh, anyways, if you liked the video today, I mean, you can always like, subscribe, whatever. I don't care. Comment below. Uh, I'm going to post a link to the original Reddit below in the description once again. Credits to that dude for creating the code. This was just to show you how to get it done really easily. And I will post a link to the JavaScript as well. Thank you, and that's all for today.